Welcome to another episode, and this is my GUU. So we'll give you a quick rundown and go through some features that I've done to it to make it twist up as good as she does. Righto, let's get underneath it. So as we go around, give you a bit of closer look. So that she's all superior and tough dog. So yeah, six inch shocks, four inch coils just stays in there and then you get to see the superior hyperflex arms in action as you can see across the other side yeah, it twists up pretty well uh, it's not too bad to drive with the superior hyperflex arms sort of squirms a little bit under braking that's sort of expected with the extra movement with the front plates as you can see you've got on both sides as we come around to the rear, we got six inch adjustable shocks as well with the four inch coils, superior pan hard rod adjustable again. Got the superior, I think they're only 10 mil, yeah, GU 10 mil longer lower arms with the adjustable upper arms in there. Made my own extended bump stops which work great, needed coil retainers. I don't know if you could see, but I made my own uh, dropout cones because they do come out a little bit. So, mainly the other side comes out a lot more, just the way the pan hard sort of lets it. I'll uh, flip around on my flex ramp later and I'll show you how the rear flexes with the front. I custom made a tray. Yeah, it took me a while, I'll show you some pictures of that. It's actually an alloy floor in it, tube, done all the rear lights, countersunk, the whole rear end, and rear winch cradle, which I made with a 17,000 pound winch. So not much stops that thing. And what else we got? Got three inch straight through exhaust, got some rock lights up under the tray. There's a water tank. Up under there, I don't know if you can sort of see it. Uh, with the wiring of the tray, I got rid of it all and put a 12 pin plug. So you just pull that plug out and lift the whole tray up. But other than that, yeah, the tray saved me a fair bit. It's sort of why I built it strong. As you show you on this side, I've rubbed off and hard up against banks, stuff like that. Custom made my own set of rock sliders into scrub bars. Again, have tested them out pretty well. And they've withholded the weight of the car on the scrub bars. Got a ARB front bar or genuine bar, I think it is. And then I cut and modified it, put a front winch in. Just run the Dominator X winch at the moment. So yeah, she works well. Two light bars, one sort of tucked up underneath there, and a slimline one there just for maximum airflow. It is a TD after all. So we'll uh, give you a bit more rundown. Don't run any lockers at the moment. Um, I've got a front one sitting there. If I put it in, it's another thing. The rear, I've just shimmed up the rear diff. Yeah, actually, it's locked technically. I put the 0.07 shim in it. I should have only went to the 0.55 one as it's pretty much locked. As you can sort of see, it skips around the grass accidentally. On road, it sort of just lets it go, but not really. Running the 35 inch, well, the 31575 16 Nitto trial grabblers, uh, Unreal tires. Got 16 by 8 inch rims. You can sort of see the tread depth. I've done like Cape York on these. I've done heaps of other trips. So wearing really well. I reckon I'm probably about halfway through them. So yeah. Four inch stainless snorkel down into the airbox. Good mate of mine sort of slapped that together for me. Uh, yeah. You can probably put a link in the description or something maybe or hit me up if you want one made. You can make them up for you but they're pretty much everywhere. 
Another rock light. Got some rock lights up the front. Right up under there on the cab mount. So it shines on the front diff perfect. So yeah. We've got the big TD42. So it's a factory motor. I uh, haven't really done a hell of a lot under here. So got the performance 4x4 turbo 18G with the factory 11 mil pump. Uh, the pump's been sort of maxed out. The idle screw is non-existent. Uh, got the big Aeroflow cooler at the top and then the alloy radiator, three core alloy right at the front. So temperatures towing with this thing get probably EGTs, maybe 500, like maximum. Uh, water temp with the car trailer on the back gets up around the high 90s. But by itself, usually sits at about 77 on the highway, doing 100. I could probably get it up around 88, sometimes up a hill. Other than that, she's pretty good. With EGTs going up a hill just as it is, like what, high 400s max. Other than that, yeah, runs about 20 pound of boost in it. I uh, don't really want to go too much more. Didn't really want to go a 12 mil pump because um, if you see any of my videos with this thing going, it sort of loves a bit of governor. So it sits on about four grand most of the time off road. So if I thought if I put a 12 mil in it, she might uh, she might hate me and do a two piece crank on me. But other than that, thanks for watching this episode. Please subscribe, and we'll keep in touch. Thank you. That's <laughs> it.